G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, for the age of espresso machines being used domestically, there has been the argument between dual boiler machines and single boiler machines. Uh, today, we have one of each here today, um, and if you would like to know which one's gonna be best for you, sit tight, because I think you're gonna be surprised at what I say at the end. On the brew bar today, we have got the ECM Contravento, which is a dual boiler machine, quite powerful. It is an older machine, but being a dual boiler, um, many will say that it has some benefits that the Cube doesn't. Um, the Cube is a single boiler heat exchange machine. Now, one thing to keep in mind that both machines are on the same power outlet and they both are a 10 amp machine. I'm not gonna go into the nerd of electronics, but essentially they run the same amount of power. So throughout all of my conversations with people about coffee machines, most people instantly want a dual boiler machine because they believe it's going to make more coffee at a faster rate without losing steam pressure or temperature. Um, this video is to prove that theory wrong. I'm not saying it is wrong, but I'm quite confident that I know the answer to this riddle um, because I've got both machines here. I've made coffees on both machines and um, I think I'm going to annoy a few people with this video because a dual boiler isn't quite what it's cracked up to be without the power to back it up. So like a machine at the cafe, you know, most of your machines are going to be on like a 32 amp or 45 or mega power, um, which isn't a standard power outlet because you just don't need to be able to make 40 coffees in a row in a domestic um, environment. And if you do, you're gonna destroy your grinder. So it's, it's a much bigger conversation than a lot of people think. Um, you know, I see a lot of dual boiler machines on the market, quite expensive, I'm not gonna drop names, that in my opinion are a little bit overvalued um, because I have a machine here for about $3,000 less than the machine I'm talking about and I'm sure you all know what I'm saying. And it makes a better coffee and it backs it up coffee after coffee. So as long as you can keep that water tank full, you can make coffee. Like I said, we've got the ECM Contravento dual boiler and then we've got the San Remo Cube single boiler heat exchange, um, which I personally own. This is my machine. I love this thing. Um, you can actually kind of see how it works. That's the boiler. There's a line coming out goes up to the steam one there. Anyway, one of the benefits of cutting holes in the side of your machine, do it, do it, please do it. And yeah, anyway, they both work on a rotary pump. So espresso wise, we're not really looking at espresso here um, because realistically this machine and that machine, you can pull espresso all day and realistically your grinder is going to be the weak point. Um, because you can't grind coffee and load it fast enough for either of these machines to lose pressure or power or temperature. So I think the best thing to look at is how long will the machine run on steam? Because that's the part where you're gonna lose pressure. Um, so I'm going to run a bit of a test on how long each of these machines will steam for before it becomes very low pressure. So I'm gonna set the cameras up, give you guys a bit of an insight. There's gonna be no trickery. I'm I love both of these machines in their own way. Um, I own this one, but this is going to be my opinion. Let's see how we go. While we're waiting for both machines to get to their perfect temperature, I've got both machines set at the same temperature, so 126 boiler temp. Um, they're both going to fluctuate between 126 and 127, as you can see. Um, they are both fully serviced, ready to go. This machine's like new. This machine I've literally just completely rebuilt everything internally so there's no real discrepancies on age of machine etc um, so it'll be a fair fight uh, let's see the results in a moment <laughs>
So as you can see, the results are probably a little bit surprising. Um, it's been a few minutes since I ran the test on the ECM and it's only just at about 1.25 bar of pressure, which is kind of the goal for the steam pressure at the moment. Um, if you were paying close attention to that gauge, you would have noticed that within 60 seconds, it was below one bar of pressure, which is just not enough to steam. Where on the San Remo, it was still at one bar of pressure two minutes in, which is as long as I ran, ran the test because the ECM after two minutes is, is actually at below 0.5 of a bar, which is half a bar of pressure, which is, you know, kind of horrible. Um, you cannot steam anything. You'll probably even notice the sound difference. You can't steam milk at half a bar. Um, where with one bar of pressure, that's perfectly fine. You could steam milk all day on the San Remo. Um, and there was a few other bits. I don't know if you noticed, but the temperature on the San Remo did not drop below 118 degrees on the boiler temperature, where the ECM was far below that. So I have my own theories, and of course there are going to be differences with boiler sizes, etc. Um, there's going to be a lot of variables in this, but this is just a simple test to show you that a dual boiler doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be able to make more coffees back to back. And of course, I wasn't pulling shots at the same time, which is going to pull temperature a little bit, but nowhere near as much as you would think. Now, I'm no electrician. Um, I don't understand electricals as much as a lot of other people may. But when you're running a machine at home, you have a 10 amp outlet, which means you plug it into the wall, you turn the switch on, and that's how much power you're getting. Now, when you have a single boiler and you have all 10 amps running to that one boiler, you are going to get a lot more power than trying to split that 10 amps over two boilers working at the same time. That was only one boiler working at one time compared to one boiler working at a time. And you just couldn't get enough power to that single boiler when there's two of them. Where when it's all dedicated to that one boiler, all 10 amps of power into it, I'm not going to get mathematical with amps and watts versus all those other numbers, but you saw the results for yourself. The pressure, the temperature, and the steam power all remained perfect for two minutes straight on the cube, where the ECM didn't even hold it for 15 seconds, I'm pretty sure. So I'll put corrections there if I was wrong, but I'll double check. So you let me know what you think. You let me know if I need to pull shots at the same time to really show you, but the results there are enough to see that a dual boiler does not mean more power. So do, do what you want with those results. Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if I'm wrong because it's the internet and that's all people want to do. Thanks for watching, guys. Have yourselves a great day and happy brewing.